All right, we're gonna install this vent cover for the fan. I believe what we've got here is what they're calling a clamp fan, which means there's no holes in the outside flange. So my first step, I gotta get up there and uh, measure out these holes, mark them, and then I'll do the drilling. A little uh, hesitant about getting up on the Airstream roof, but did some uh, research before I got out here. And as long as you step on the, uh, where there's supports, in other words, where there's um, uh, rivets down the, <coughs> down the roof, then we should be fine. Uh, this is something cool that I've had with me since the uh, R-Pod. It is a collapsible aluminum ladder, which is super handy for getting up on the roof. I'm going to try to rest it up against the uh, awning there. I'll show you unpacking that. There's the ladder. I've used the uh, cover to kind of pad that top there. And this is what we will be installing over the fan. I don't know if you can see there, there's the fan. It's not open right now. This will help with uh, both snow and rain and with uh, the bigger problem out here is the wind. <clears throat> there's still one side, of course, where it can come in and kind of hit the, hit the fan and the cover but it'll shield it from three sides and that'll be better than, than nothing. So, gonna get going, mark my holes. All right, from my understanding, you can step on the ribs, which would be right here. Not out here, you can see that's pretty loose and you do not ever wanna step on the aluminum part. My understanding, this is aluminum, but it's like a coated aluminum, a little different. All right, I'm gonna see if I can set this up on the, uh, Dometic uh, AC unit there, and then I will come back with all the stuff. So it turns out this is not a clamp fan at all. It's, it's screwed in. They just had these screws covered in the DAP sealant stuff. So I'm just getting that off. So I won't have to drill through the flange after all, which is a good thing. Come up here on the roof. All right, so I want to come around and get those over there. Thinking it's going to be kind of hard to move over here. So then these are going to go like that. But one thing I want to do is uh, put some more sealant in here. So 
I'm just going to put a generous amount of this on there and let it spread as I put in the screws. All right. So then these. As these uh, little brackets are coming down, they're spreading the sealant I put in there, so I'm pretty happy about that. Where I took it up, where I peeled back the, the sealant covering the screws, the, uh, the little edge here was a little bit exposed, so I was a little worried about that, but it's sealing it back. Okay, cool. Well, not having to screw this, it ended up being a whole lot more straightforward than I thought. All right, moment of truth. Don't really know which which slot you want these in necessarily. These cotter pins are a little, uh, a little big for these. All right, and we're through. All righty, pretty nifty, I like it. Now we just gotta go inside and make sure the fan can open okay, and we're done. All right, there's our fan. So we're just gonna I'm just looking around with this motor. So it looks good, it's not catching. Plenty of room. Beautiful. Like it.